Oi, fala aí pessoal, bom dia. Você está escutando o inglês do inglês do rádio. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Hey, hey, Alexia. What's up? <laughs> not much. What about you? Nice. You're just huh? forcing that out as fast as not much. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't feel pegged to surprise. Awesome. So, Alexia, as you know, we've been talking a lot about 2018, and 2018 is done. We have finished 2018. We've talked about it. So let's get on with the future. How about it? Yes, I love that. Do you know that we have a song, of course, in Portuguese, about the saying goodbye to the last year and starting the new year? How does it go? Do you want to sing it? Feliz ano novo, adeus ano velho, muito dinheiro no bolso, saúde para dar e vender. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. I would not mind having a lot of money in my pocket. And <laughs> <laughs> Thing, I think I saw, there, there is um, the rest of the song, but I really don't know. Yeah, we could make the entire podcast just you singing. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so what I really wanted to do is continue this theme of just us having <laughs> business meetings, essentially, live on air. So I wanted to ask you, about our plans for 2019, specifically for English to Crew, and what we're going to do, what we're thinking about doing, what's changing, what's staying the same. What do you think about it? Yes. So my area, social media and everything that involves talking to you guys, we'll have a lot of more um, interaction. Interaction interaction and more lives on instagram <laughs> yeah we did a live last week and um i think most people know by now that i don't really understand or participate too much in social media and everyone loved a live and i enjoyed it very much as well so i don't think that's just alexia but i think that's something i want to do is have more interaction, not only with our students in sound school, who I interact with every day, but just kind of spread the love. Yes. So I don't know yet how many lives we'll be doing or anything like that, but we are going to have a live in January. So I'll let you guys know. Yeah. So this is just me thinking out loud, but I think one cool thing that we could start doing is start doing some live podcast. Yes, <laughs> that will be amazing. I'm really afraid of it, but I think it will be awesome. <laughs> I mean, we essentially do a live podcast every day if we just post it <laughs> on how uh, we could do it live. Um, I'm not sure. We'd have to figure out the te technology, but... Yeah, just yeah having... we had to be in the same country to work it out, but... Yeah, that would probably help. Probably yeah. help. <laughs> cool. So one of the big things that I kind of want to focus on in 2019 is to spend more time and attention on what we are uniquely good at. So in 2018, a lot of our process was just figuring things out, like how do we, what do we do as students? How can we make money and how can we live and travel and at the same time, all this stuff. And I think what we are best at is just being ourselves, talking, especially recording podcasts. So last year we recorded over 200 podcasts for English Nukuru Haju. 
And I want to kind of keep that up, I think. Yeah. Wow. I love doing podcasts. It was because of you that I came to this life. And I think that's what people like most about us as well. Yeah. Do you want to know my real goal for 2019? Do like my I? real business goal? Maybe. I think you do. <laughs> so this is like my big, my big secret goal, which is about not to be a secret anymore. But my dream come true one day is for English no Cruhaju to be the number one English podcast in Brazil. So we actually did that for like one week in 2018 when I can't remember some other podcast talked about us. And we got a lot of new followers. Uh, it was Vanda podcast. And um, Milkshakey. Que é. Vanda. É. Milkshake chamado Vanda, uma coisa assim. I'm sorry, guys, I don't remember the name, but we do like them. I'm horrible with names. Yeah, um, but I want it to be consistent to the point, really kind of the entire idea of English no Kuruhaju was this idea when we started two years ago is podcast for Brazilians that don't know are super, super popular in the U.S. Like one out of three people in the U.S. listen to podcasts on a daily basis. In Brazil, I don't know that exact number, but I imagine it's like one out of 20 people maybe at the most. Yeah, it got better with Spotify now. Oh, it's growing a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. But I'm really betting on the idea that in... I don't know, five years, ten years, three years. I'm not sure how much time. But a large majority of Brazilians will be listening to podcasts and specifically listening to podcasts as the best way to learn English for free. And I want to be, I, I want English to be kind of the, the leader in that situation. I want to be the first one. Well, I mean, you and me, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so what do you think about that? Do you think it's possible? Well, of course it is. We already proved that it is. Why not? I so we you need your of... help. Yeah, we need the help from who's listening. Yeah, so the big reasons why not, I think the first reason, is you have some really famous people that are doing podcasts. Um, you have people doing really good work, like English Todos Os Dias, which is for beginners. But they have been doing podcasts since like 2007. So, yeah, good work to them. They started a lot earlier. But I think the most difficult thing is you will have a lot more big names like traditional English schools are already starting to do podcasts and <clears throat> no Mayu don't say Vigata it <laughs> is just using his YouTube videos and putting them in audio form and that is currently the number one podcast for education right now in Brazil and that pisses me off <laughs> <laughs> okay let's not talk about him I'm not saying any bad things about it. I'm just saying that the podcast space, I want it to grow. I want as many people there as possible, but I want really like quality resources at the top of that list. Nice. Of course, I am with you on that. Yeah. Cool. So other goals. I have some other ones, but. Do you have any specific ones you want to? No, go ahead. Because everything that you wrote before this episode, I know it at all. Uh, uh, I know it already. Uh, and I do agree with it. Okay. So one of the big things that we hopefully will do very early in 2019 is to be able to accept all types of Brazilian payments, which... Hallelujah. 
Haleluya, haleluya. <laughs> so for people that don't know, we are actually an American company. So English Crew is incorporated in the U.S. And Brazil has a lot of crazy, crazy laws about finances and currencies. So it is actually illegal for Brazilians to send hey ice out of Brazil. So right now we can only accept money in U.S. dollars and we have to pay a lot for that. And we have been working a lot behind the scenes to try to be able to accept money in hey ice, which means we could accept buletu, we could accept everything in installments so people can pay per month. Installments é parcelamento. Yeah, parcelamento. And that would not only make things a lot easier for us, so we would not have to pay all this extra money in like currency exchanges and weird financial transactions, but also it would make things so much easier for our students so we could create new products and make them much more affordable for everyone. Because that's really the goal for me is that our courses are not like price is not an issue that if you're serious about your English, you can make that investment and it won't be anything crazy. That's going to break the bank for you, you know? Yes. Yes. So I am really happy that we could manage to do that last, the end of the last year. Yeah. But, yet. <laughs> yeah. But we need to organize this and, try it out and start doing it so once you settle down we'll let you know yeah yeah so that's one thing and if we can make courses more affordable by accepting money in hey ice something i'd love to do is to create a lot of new courses yes because we can only create new courses if we are able to receive any kind of money Yeah, yeah, we're not creating courses for free because this yeah. is how we live. So, yes. <laughs> um, so right now we do have Sound School, which I think will always be our best and most important course because I think pronunciation and conversation are the most important things with any language. And I think that is where there is the biggest lack of resources in Brazil. But, for example, I would love to just do a short little course on completely with music and how to improve your English with music. That would be awesome because that's the main point why and how I learn English as well. Yeah, yeah. So really do courses that maybe are not for everyone, but courses that are just really fun for us to, to, to do. Yeah. Cool. So, any other little tricks up your sleeve, Alexia? <laughs> no. Ah, the <laughs> the one thing that I've been dreaming about is to get to reach 10,000 followers on Instagram. Then I'll have swipe up, a hashtag aqui para cima, and you guys will be and directly to the link that I wanted you guys to check it out and things like that. So go ahead and follow us on Instagram, pelo amor de Deus. Yeah, Alexia does a great job with our Instagram. And 2019, I'm going to be much more active in our Instagram. So get, mm -hmm. get us to 10,000 because until we're at 10,000, we cannot do anything business related on our Instagram which makes it very difficult to invest a lot of time and money into Instagram if we are not able to receive money in return. Because at the end of the day, English no crew is a business, you know? Yes, and we depend on us, on, on us. We depend on you guys. We do. And you guys, us. yes, but and you guys like us, so. Yeah, the only way we can continue to do a free daily podcast is with the support of all our lovely listeners 
So help Alexia get to 10,000 followers, please. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, of course, we will have other cool little things in 2019 that we haven't even thought of yet, but I think that's a good place to start. Yes. So, welcome 2019, and let's keep on working. Let's do this thing. Yeah. Okay, Alexia, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>